What is going on guys? Welcome to your, let's see what tutorial it is, ninth? I think it's our ninth physics tutorial. And in this tutorial, now that we know the importance and how we understand the need for sig figs, we can go ahead and start using them in our scientific notation problems. So what I did is I went and grabbed a couple problems from tutorial five and tutorial six. And back then, whenever we were working with scientific notation, we didn't know about significant figures and by the way I don't know if I mentioned this but sometimes I call significant figures sig figs just because it sounds cool so anyways now that we know about sig figs we can go ahead and solve these problems again and we're gonna solve them correctly this time so what we need to do is go ahead and solve these problems again so 6.71 times 10 to the 3 times 2.3 times 10 to the fifth power equals 6 Point seven one times two point three times and I might skip a couple steps here ten to the three plus five which is eight so basically what we have is fifteen point four three three times ten to the eighth so in our last tutorial, or not our last tutorial, tutorial number five, I think it was, our final answer was 1.5433 times 10 to the ninth power. Now you're saying, all right, that answer looks pretty correct to me, but we need to consider the rules of sig figs. So in order to do that, when working with scientific notation, we need to look at how many digits are in the least accurate number, or coefficient as they're properly called. The coefficient is the number that's not the one with the exponent. So basically, what we're gonna be doing is saying, all right, this number has one, two, three, and this number has one, two. So remember in the last tutorial when I was talking about how our scales had different accuracies? Well, pretend that we're measuring these with scales right here. This scale would only go to the tenths place, and I just changed my color to red, and my text is red. This scale only goes to the tenths, and this scale goes to the hundredths. So basically, we can only use an answer that goes to the tenths. So basically, our correct answer would be 1.5, and I got 1.5 from rounding 1.54 times 10 to the ninth. And again, the reason for that is because we can't just go ahead and include these numbers because we don't know for a fact that this is 2.3000. So we can't claim to have more information than, you know, we just can't make up information like that because our equipment wasn't that accurate whenever we got this data right there. So let me go ahead and give you guys one more example, and I need to change my color again. So, actually, let me go ahead and get out my piece of paper right here for my tutorial, make sure I'm working with the right problem. So, 7.62, yeah, that's going to pop up. And by the way, I think whenever I make uh, my YouTube videos, they always try to, let me see if I can get it, oh, it won't even do it now, but they always put the thumbnail as whatever I'm, whenever that box pops up, and it's really annoying because like uh, it looks like I'm making a mistake on all my videos which I kind of am but do you guys know what I'm talking about when well never mind again I'm just rambling I'll stop doing that so let's go ahead and solve this problem I'll shut up 7.62 again we're dividing so we have to put divide by 2.1 and then we go ahead and multiply that by 10 to the third divided by 10 to the fifth. So let's go ahead and solve both sides of these equations. 7.62 divided by 2.1 equals 3.629 and we need to go ahead and multiply that and I'm just going to go ahead and skip a step here. 3 minus 5 equals negative 2 so that's 10 to the negative 2. So we go ahead and basically in our sixth physics tutorial we said that this was the final answer right there however now that we know about significant figures let's go ahead and take a look at this data up here this one only goes to the tenth 
of one place and this one goes to the hundredth so basically our answer can only go to the tenth because that's our least accurate piece of information right there so what we need to do is we need to round this answer to the nearest tenth so three point six times ten to the negative two is our correct answer that's what we should have had because again like I said this data right here we don't know for certain how accurate that is we only have the equipment to measure to the tenth so that's what our answer should be right here so now that you know the importance of significant figures and also basically saw those examples in real life examples saw those examples in real life examples what the heck am I talking about well anyways now that we saw that in practice we can begin to move on to something else however there are a couple different rules that I think I better tell you guys before you know jump into mass and physics and atoms and electricity and stuff like that so definitely check out the next tutorial and um if you guys have any questions about sig figs or physics at all I should probably mention this in the last couple tutorials make sure to check out my forum at the newboston.com slash forum and you can ask me questions there and I will be happy to answer them for you guys so anyways thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial